Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of how to solve non-homogeneous constant coefficient differential equations by annihilating the right hand side. So we're going to consider the ODE y double prime plus y prime equals cosine of x. So we will write our differential equation, so we will rewrite in our differential operator notation as d squared plus d applied to y is cosine x. And so what we'll do following our general method is we'll annihilate the right hand side by applying d squared plus 1 to the equation. If we do this, our equation is replaced with d squared plus 1, d squared plus d applied to y is d squared plus 1 applied to cosine of x. We know that d squared plus 1 applied to cosine is 0. And so what we've done by annihilating the right hand side is we've turned it into a homogeneous problem. So this is homogeneous of order 4. So we can use what we know from homogeneous equations. We can rewrite our problem as d squared plus 1 and then factor out a d and then a d plus 1 applied to y equals 0. The solution of this homogeneous ODE is y is equal to c1, because d annihilates a constant c1, plus c2, e to the negative x, from this factor. And then I have c3 cosine x and c4 sine x. Now, we will plug this back in, so we plug in the original equation and check. Because we know there should only be two arbitrary constants in a second order ODE, and I have four constants in this solution. Two of these constants will be able to be determined by plugging back in and checking. As it turns out, if we focus on these first two terms over here, if I plug those first two terms back into the original equation, they will be annihilated by the left-hand side. So all we need to plug in are the C3 cosine and the C4 sine terms. So I will need to do a derivative. So if we look at, we will call this our particular solution, which will be C3 cosine x plus C4 sine x. The first derivative of this will be negative c3 sine x plus c4 cosine x, and y particular double prime will be negative c3 cosine x minus c4 sine x. The equation tells us that y double prime plus y prime has to be cosine, so this will imply that negative c3 cosine x minus c4 sine x, which is my y double prime term, plus my y prime term, which is negative c3 sine x plus c4 cosine x, has to be equal to cosine x. So I'll combine the like terms. So what I have here is I have a negative c3 c4. So negative c3 plus c4 must be 1, since that's the coefficient of cosine. Then I have negative c3 minus c4 must be 0, because negative c3 negative c4 is the coefficient of sine, and there's no sine on the right-hand side of this equation. So together, these equations can be solved by, by adding together. I will get negative 2, c3 is 1, which tells me that c3 is negative 1 half. If c3 is negative 1 half, then c4 will have to be positive 1 half. So c4 will be 1 half by the other equation. 
And that tells me that my solution will be C1 plus C2 e to the negative x plus C3, which we now know to be negative 1 half cosine x plus c4, which we know is 1 half sine x. So we have now solved the original problem. Since I have two constants, c1 and c2, it's a second order equation, in my particular solution, the coefficients c4 and c3 have been found. So we have determined the values of c3 and c4. By annihilating the right-hand side, plugging back in and check, we can solve any constant coefficient non-homogeneous ODE in this method. Thank you very much.